Hey, Ross. What's up, Kev? What's up is a question for you. What are we talking about? <laughs> We're talking about IAQ, right? Indoor air quality. Okay. Right? And it's a lot to tackle with indoor air quality and a lot going on inside our houses. Uh, the way I like to think about it is really three factors, right? One is general ventilation. When I think about it, I want to get exhaust air out of the building. I want to get fresh outside air into the building. Okay. I also want to think about filtration. So I want to have really good filters on my HVC equipment and standalone filters if I can in the house, right? To filter the particles that are in the air. Gotcha. The third one is source capture. So I think of kitchens like you know, when you cook, and I think of bathrooms like moisture from showers. And I think it's a popular subject because I think we're all more aware of indoor air quality, right. but also houses are tighter, generally speaking. So right. you can actually have these odors, mold, mildew, captured in the house. That's right. So That's it's a right. good conversation. Exactly. Yeah. So when you're in a bathroom, you know, to focus on bathrooms, it's a, it's a big deal. Most people think bath fans like this in the ceiling are there for odor control, right? To get the odor out. But the real reason they're there is for moisture control, getting the moisture from showers and bathrooms. And this is what you're talking about in terms of source capture. So something's going on in the bathroom, odor right. or steam. So that's the source. That's where you want to capture it. That's right. Because that steam that's, that's created when you shower, for example, that will go everywhere inside that space. And it actually can condense on the backside of the sheetrock and create mold and other yeah. issues, right? So this sits in the ceiling. It's kind of tipped on its side. But then it right. spins right here, exhausts through the pipe. And that's what pulls the steam or the odor out of the room. That's right. It goes into this fan and then shoots it out into outside, right? Not into the attic space. Get that outside. Okay? Typical. Typical. In fact, required by code. That's right. That's right. Okay. So then you have a step up from that would be to do a ceiling grill, something like this, that has a grill on this. So that's empty, though. There's no motor in that box. Right, right. It looks like a ceiling fan, but yeah. it's just a grill. And you duck this to an inline fan, okay? Oh. So if you think of the inline fan, there's actually a propeller, right? A mixed flow fan that spins and it's gonna pull moisture from that ceiling grill through the duct and then from here, it's gonna go outside. So this would sit in the ceiling of the bathroom, but that could be anywhere up and away in the attic or what have you. That's right, super quiet. Put it wherever you'd like. Could be in a basement, could be an attic space, could be wherever you'd like. And you get that exhaust outside somewhere where you want to put it. Okay. I right. like it. I like it a lot. So the other thing too we can get better with is controls, mm -hmm. right? A lot of people run these on a switch manually, on or off. And, and I'll tell you what, the kids never turn them on. Turn them on. <laughs> I don't care okay. how many times you tell them. So a step up from that would be an on-off switch with a humidity sensor. Gotcha. So humidity generates in the bathroom, it kicks in automatically, so when the kids don't hit the switch, it does it automatically. I, I can override it though. I can turn it on manually Correct. or let it go automatically. Yep, this is manual override. Yep, different manufacturers make those. And we can go even beyond that. So we can go to ones like this that have motion sensing hmm. and temperature and humidity sensing as well. So if I walk into the bathroom, I could program it to turn on or if the steam builds up, it'll turn on. That's right, and you can configure how sensitive or how much you want it to, how much you want it to control. So you have manual control as well? You do, you do. So I can turn it on manually by pressing that button. I can run it for 20 minutes, I press it once, I press it twice, it goes for 40, I press it three times, it goes for 60. I like that a All lot. Right? That's another thing people realize. We have moisture, but a lot of people leave the bathroom, they turn the switch off, there's still moisture in that space. All right, so we want to run the fan for an extended period of time to get all that moisture out. So all why right. are you showing me an outlet over here? What is this? So that is a, so think about this being the bathroom with the bathroom switch and think about that as being in the living room or a different part of the house. What happens when the air quality in the house suffers if I don't have an ERV or an air exchanger? I might want to kick on my bath fans to exhaust all of that contaminated air and get it outside. I have a big gathering. There's 10 of us in the living room. I'm running a fire. That indoor air quality goes down. This senses it. That's right. And we'll yep. use that to expel it. Yeah, so let me show you. So the first one is steam. So yeah, I, got a, I was wondering. You I got a little steam wand back, back here. here. steaming and gurgling. So watch this. If I put a steam, so this signifies a shower. If I put that on that sensor right there, What's going to happen is it's going to sense the moisture. And see that light? You hear the relay click? So that right there is telling the fan to turn on. So we're going to watch the fan turn on. Oh, there yeah, you go. Telltales go. That. Okay. And that will keep going for a while if we program it as such? That's right. Okay. That's right. So that will keep running. And so I can manually turn it off, right? So I can nice. turn it off like that, and that's going to turn off. But now take your uh, hand sanitizer and waft it in front of that IEQ sensor. So there's actually an insert in there that senses indoor air quality. So this is bad indoor air quality. So that's VOCs, right? It's gonna pick that up. So it's gonna pick up those VOCs from the hand sanitizer, and that hand sanitizer is then going to trigger the bath fan, there it is, is gonna kick on. Oh, no kidding. Kick on automatically. That is pretty clever right there. So whether you're having a party with 40 people or you're cleaning your house with all the disinfectant and all the chemicals in your house, Therefore, it's going to kick on the bathroom. Look at that. Yep, I love it. So a different way to vent um, and new ways to control as well. That's very right. cool. Thank you, Ross. Awesome. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. 
So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.